my name is Aileen and today I'm going to read you one of my very favorite books from when I was super teeny tiny little and that's Lambert the Sheepish Lion. It's really really old but I have some really nice memories tied to it and I wanted to share it with you. So here we go. Got some little pictures of Lambert. I'll read the page and then I'll show you the picture. Okay? Mr. Stork was having a busy night. He had to deliver bundles of babies to all kinds of places. As he flew over the trees, Mr. Stork was glad he had just one bundle left. That's Mr. Stork. Early in the morning, Mr. Stork came at last to a sheep meadow. The sheep were still asleep. This must be the place, thought Mr. Stork. The address on his bundle said, Baby lambs deliver to sheep meadow. So this all the sheeps. Mr. Stork flipped his wings up and swooped down. He made a perfect landing. Six mother sheep were waiting in a row. Out of the sack tumbled five baby lambs. Here is your home, Mr. Stork told them. So those are all the little babies. Just pick out the sheep you like best, said Mr. Stork. She will be your mother. Soon each little lamb had found a warm, woolly mother. But there was one mother sheep who had no little lamb. A tear fell from her eye. Okay, so that's pictures. Oh dear, said Mr. Stork. I thought I had enough lambs to go around. He picked up the sack and shook it. Out tumbled one more baby. You don't look like a lamb, said the stork. He took out his spectacles and checked his order book. Why, you must be Lambert, the lion cub, he said. So that's him shaking the sack and Lambert falling out. And then here he is, the baby Lambert. But by then, Lambert had found the lonely mother sheep. Lambert snuggled up beside her. She did not look lonely anymore. So they are together. Excuse me, Mrs. Sheep, said Mr. Stork. There's a mistake. That's a lion cub. I will just take him away. He will not bother you again. Mrs. Sheep was furious. Lambert was her baby. No one was going to take him away. Mrs. Sheep rammed her big head, pow, right into Mr. Stork. Mr. Stork flew into the air, spectacles and all. That was enough for him. He got out of that sheep meadow just as fast as he could flap his wings. Go. Silly old stork, said Mrs. Sheep, as she licked Lambert's little mane. Lambert purred like a kitten. The other mothers were licking their babies, too. Now run and play, said Mrs. Sheep, and off went Lambert. And that's little Lambert going off to play. Lambert watched the lambs playing on the grass. They were having fun. They jumped and leaped about on stiff, wobbly legs. Ba ba, they said. That's the noise that sheep make. Right? Lambert opened his mouth to say "ba." He wanted to play too, but all that came out was a great big meow. The lambs thought that meow was a very funny sound for a lamb to make. They laughed and laughed at Lambert. "Oh, how silly he looks!" said one lamb. "His feet are too big. His tail is too long," said another. Poor Lambert, he felt very sad. His feet were too big, and his tail was too long. He was the silliest looking lamb in the meadow. Lambert's mother came to comfort him. Never mind, dear, she said. Just play with the lambs and do what they do. You will grow up to be a fine sheep. Lambert felt much better. He went off to play. So here's Lambert. He was very sad, and here he is with his mom. And then he's going back out to play. But every time Lambert tried to leap like a lamb, he tripped over his big feet and landed on his head. And every time he tried to butt heads with another lamb, the lamb would ram, pow, into him. After a while, Lambert had a very sore head. So this is him playing, and that's him butting heads with the lamb. Never mind, dear, said his mother. You are growing faster than all the others. Lambert was growing fast. Every day he was getting bigger and bigger and bigger until he's a big lion. 
But as Lambert grew bigger, he grew more and more sheepish. He never acted angry when the young sheep laughed at him. Lambert just grinned his sheepish grin and pretended not to care. Okay, so that's him being silly and sheepish. But Lambert did care. He was tired of being butted. He was tired of looking silly. Most of all, he was tired of being different. One night, while all the, all the sheep were sleeping, Lambert woke up. He pricked up his ears. I forgot to show you here. That's them sleeping. And this is him. He heard something. Let's find out what it is. A wolf was creeping slowly toward the sheep meadow. It was growling a mean, hungry growl. The wolf was coming to get the sheep. Lambert was terrified. Lambert hid behind his mother. He didn't feel brave enough to fight the wolf. But the sheep were not brave either. They were as sheepish as sheep could be. When they heard the wolf coming, all the sheep ran into the woods. They hid behind the trees, and Lambert was surprised. Even his mother, who had butted Mr. Stork, was trembling now. So this is everybody, and they're all feeling kind of scared. Suddenly, something went snap inside Lambert's head. He forgot how sheepish he had become. He forgot that he was afraid. He even forgot to try and say, bah. He opened his mouth and roared and then dashed after the wolf. Dashing is in taking place. But Lambert did not forget everything he had learned in the sheep meadow. He rammed his big head, pow, right into the wolf. The wolf went flying over the edge of the cliff. In all of his sheep hunting days, the wolf had never before seen a lion. But one lion was enough for him. The wolf never bothered the sheep again. All the sheep gathered around Lambert. They were not laughing at him now. Lambert was a great hero. My Lambert is a mighty lion, said Mrs. Sheep. Did you hear him roar? Lambert purred happily, but it was a mighty purr. A lion's purr. There you go. So in this book about Lambert, the sheepish lion, he grew up and he, he tried to be just like everybody else, right? But in the end, what was different about him was what was special. And he was able to use his roar to save the day and save his family. I hope you liked this book just as much as I did when I was little.